Welcome to the housing application tutorial. My name is Rams Ramsey and I will be guiding you through your application today. The first thing you're taken to is the welcome page and we are going to hit application at the top. We're going to select academic year 2017-2018 and hit save and continue. We are brought to the application menu and you can see the steps of the process here. Um, we're going to click Save and Continue to go on to number two, which is Personal Details. Um, in this menu, just read over everything, fill in the blanks. Um, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. Um, once we get down to Housing Referral, um, if somebody has referred housing to you, this is where you would put their full name and their referral code. Um, and once we're all done with that, hit Save and Continue. This is the housing contract page. This is where you will agree to the terms and conditions outlined in the housing contract and community living standards and pay special attention to the cancellation policy. Um, read over that in its entirety and when you're ready, click the checkbox and hit save and continue. Next is the chronic and severe medical conditions page. If you have any medical room needs or dietary requirements that you would like us to know about, please list them here. If not, hit save and continue. This is the profile settings page. Um, the first thing we want to do is tick this box if you wish to be included in the roommate searching process. This will allow other people who are looking for roommates to see you as a potential match. Um, your screen name goes here, description of yourself to show potential roommates, hit save and continue. This will take you to my profile page. Um, this is just a quick questionnaire that will allow other students to match you as a potential roommate. Um, so scroll through. There are some drop down menus, some sliders. And we're just going to hit save and continue. This will take you to the Browse Available Roommates page, where you can narrow your results by using the following fields of age and class, or just simply press Browse Roommates and it will show you a list of possible roommates that you can choose from. A list of roommates will appear based on the compatibility of your questionnaires. Underneath their name is the description and you can click view profile or send them a message. If you are a returning student and already know who you want to room with, we're going to skip this step and go to number eight, roommate groups. For this to work, someone in your group will need to use create a group option and share the group name and password with others. The other members will use the join group option using the group name and password. Now an important part is that everybody in the group must complete the housing contract before you join or create the group. Hit save and continue. Next we have building preferences. If you have a residence hall in mind, you can select it through the drop down menu. Say we wanted to live in Keenan. We would select Keenan, and then we would also get to select which kind of room in Keenan we would want, say a double. We also get to do building two, and our preference for building two, Carmichael single, and so on and so on. You must at least have one building selected. The last step to the application is the sign agreement page. This is where you make a binding contract with housing. So review the housing contract and community standards once again. If you agree, check the box. Below is the cancellation policy. Please read this thoroughly as if you check the box and agree to the contract, you are now in a binding contract with UNC Housing and there will be a $200 cancellation fee. Click the box, agree to contract. And that's it. We have applied, we are contract signed, and the application is complete.